Microsoft Access. So you can see I have two tables, an employee table. It contains eight records. Last name, first name, and state. A state table that contains five records with five states. I have a form that has a drop down with the four or five states. If I choose a state and I press run report, it will generate a report based on the state that I chose. And it has the employees that fall under that state. Notice here on the right, it tells how many employees are in that state. So there are two employees in Ohio. Now if we select Oregon and we run the report, there's one employee in Oregon. Notice the annotation here. So how I set that up is I have a query here called QRY underscore employee. And it looks at the table employee and under the state criteria is looking at that combo box on the form. So when I go to the form and run the report, it runs that query. Now let's look into the details of the report. So I go to design view. The header of the report shows the same criteria in the in the query. Looking at that combo box in the form. Right here at the bottom in the report footer, I have the label and it's called employee info label. If I go to the event tab and the on open event, the first thing I'm doing is I'm running the employee query and then I'm closing it. The reason I'm doing that is so I can get a count of how many employees are in that query when this when I choose a state then I'm checking to see if in the employee query if there's one employee in that query I'm going to have this message in the label saying that there is one employee in that particular state. And if there's zero or more than one, it's going to display this message in the label. So I'm going to show you again. So if I choose North Carolina and run the report, I get two employees in North Carolina showing the message in the label. I choose Missouri. There are three employees in Missouri. Oregon has one. Ohio has two. And Maryland has zero. If you enjoyed this content, please like, share, and subscribe to the channel. We'll see you in the next video.